You're listening to The Ocho Man, Behind the Eight Ball, only on Ignotainment. I'm always on my old black Without further ado, the one, the only, Ocho Man. I'm trying to live my life and it just makes me so wild. Hola, hola muchachos, my friends. It's May 29th, and we got a big show here behind the eight ball, and I got my crew here. I got my steady crew, Armand, Nick, and Chris. How you guys doing? Good to be here. Beautiful. Hola. Hola, hola. Hey, man. What a what a shit week I had, man. I, 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 I couldn't I couldn't get out of bed. I, can't, I I was sick. I was sick for three, four days, and yeah, I thought Ultraman's it was been down for the count. Yeah, I, I thought it was the whole. I made some shish kebabs, you know. And you know what it was? It was that brisket you had last week after the show. We went out and had lunch. That brisket didn't look too good. What are you talking about? Yeah, that didn't look good at all. Yeah, you, you remember? You didn't like it. Well, they didn't put enough meat. That's why I didn't like okay. it. I mean, it didn't it's look little, good at all. Little fungoid. And um, yeah, I was I was out. I made some shish kebabs, and next thing you know, I was sick and. Uh, <clears throat> The kid, the kid was sick. I think she gave it to all of us. Of course. And, and um, but you know what, man? We had people over. Everyone. Yeah, had that uh, uh, graduation or what? Did you have a party or something? We had a party. Yeah, we had a party. And uh, I, I, I tell you what, right afterwards, I think everyone was shitting and uh, barfing up the place. Like a party. Made, well, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, it was rough. Some sort of plasmid or something. So uh, I, I, I've been kind of behind. Uh, what have you been up to, Nick? Uh, any any crazy stories you got for us? Oh, oh you kidding? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, what kind of, is that a stupid question? Yeah, well, yeah. I, have, I haven't been here. Come I don't on. even know. I, I think we ought we to gotta, check Nick every time he comes in. He could be an alien doppelganger. I, I, or bug. He could have a I bug would, on him. I would Man, think. I think it, he's one of those plant people from, uh, what was it, Invades and the Body Snatchers? First of all. A it, pod. You know, there, there are some. I, I have uh, dipped back into the alien uh, oh, ufology, so to speak. You know, Excellent. when I started looking into this stuff that I look into, it kind of began with that, and then it didn't go anywhere. And then, you know, I just kind of tuned out and then started listening. You know, started reading about people being satanic and rock stars and you know <laughs> sacrifices of celebrities the two go together and, yes yeah. hey, speaking uh, of speaking of sacrifices uh, <laughs> keep the donuts low because <laughs> if uh, if tony finds out we got donuts in here uh oh that fat Armand, will bar be the in door there. <laughs> <laughs> that's right we have how many we have left yeah <laughs> kind of counted and take some dna over there because uh, he will definitely be on top now of do you have to like put a little the mark catapults. you have to little put a little mark on your whiskey bottle to make sure nobody yeah. <laughs> do well, he, doesn't t- he doesn't touch the whiskey oh, okay oh, all right you it's know not, what though yeah, oh, you know what i want to run glutton, across not a you. Wino. you know what i want to run across you nick is my kid I, I don't know if you're familiar with this or not but my kid comes to me and Which says one? the young one or the old one? The, i older. hope the older one older. because she oh. she came up to me and said yeah, there's this thing going around with this uh, widgie board thing. Uh, Charlie, it's a home Charlie challenge. Yeah, what the hell is yeah. that all about? Freak me uh, out just thinking about what it. What is it? I What's just, it called? The it's, Charlie Charlie challenge. Huh. It's kind of like a do-it-yourself Ouija board. I just heard about this like yesterday morning. And uh, what you do is you take a piece of paper and you like draw across like um, you know four squares. And then you write, I think, yes, no, yes, no. Or maybe you can just write... Any kind of thing in there, and then you uh, you I, take two pencils, yeah. you, and uh, you balance one. You set one down, and you balance the other one, and then you ask Charlie a question. But you got to say something, I think, like Charlie's probably something that rhymes. Why don't we do that? I don't here? know. And Just then you right ask now. the question, and then it'll it supposedly <laughs> it will point to the answer. Just have a donut and relax, Chris. Exactly. Uh, Chris, if you do that, the the, the 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 all the fucking spirits will be after your ass. <laughs> well, I mean, you're part of the show, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm good. All right, all right. I, don't, I don't want the spirits. Well, but uh, we'd have an Edward G. Robinson Ouija board. Oh, oh that yeah. would be great. <laughs> yeah, see, no, no, you're going to hell, Shane. You mug. Oh, you're you gonna know, fry. You're gonna fry. <laughs> <laughs> we could have a seance in here. You oh, know, he, that'd be a good show. I'll tell you, that would be a good show. Can we get a that'd stripper be a good for that? Halloween show? Well, she wouldn't be serious if we had a, a fucking. Oh, I'd stripper. be serious. Yeah, you think you wouldn't even be focused? I'd have a nude seance. I kind of like. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be nude <laughs> without the seance. <laughs> yeah, I gotta start practicing my Edward G. Because I don't. Well, yeah, <laughs> Nick, I kind of like these. He still yeah. hasn't. He still no one's talked the about movie. me in years. <laughs> oh, there you go. Next yeah. part of it now too. <laughs> yeah, but Nick didn't get the question about the Edward G. Robinson no. James Cagney movie. No, I got it. There's only I gotta one. Ad- admit defeat on that. 
You know what? Going back to the Ouija board thing, I remember doing that oh, in, that was fun. in college. Yeah, we talked man. about this, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna get one. Well, yeah. I, I I fucking I, I tell you what, it was so damn frightening because this shit was really happening, and I'm looking at this girl. It's moving. I'm looking at this girl, and I'm looking at her like, okay, you're you're fucking with me. You're doing all this. She goes, I'm not looking down here at all. So I'm looking at her eyes, and this thing is moving. And then it says, uh, we're we're down in a fucking uh, little yeah. uh, little place. Uh, did you play d- spin downstairs. the bottle too? Yeah, we did all that. Oh yeah. Anyway, this thing's <laughs> going crazy, and it Good says, uh, my we're gonna have kids. We're going to be... Uh, you and this girl? You, uh, yeah. It said we're going to have a six foot seven kid playing for Notre Dame. And <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is fucking crazy. And, and then wow. it, And then it suddenly stopped. And uh, and then she asked it, are you still here? And he said, yes. And then the next <laughs> thing you know, the fucking things... Uh, uh, she she asked it, are you are you a nice spirit or something? And it said, no. And all this shit, I, I pulled my hand off. And you're not supposed to pull your hand off. They, no, I don't do that. They told me, and next nah. thing you know, I'm hearing. I don't know. I think it's all mental, man. I think every one of us has got Some so energy. much energy in us that... You you remember that movie with uh, George Clooney? With it was a real army unit. Oh yeah, yeah. The, goat, the goats or men that stared goats. Yes, the men yes. that stared men goats. It was a real fucking yeah, unit. That's true. That true story. They, and, and they really thrived on the energy. Yeah, uh, I had never seen the movie, but I know that it's it's based on yeah, a the, true thing. And yeah, of actual. course, they're gonna you know uh, ridicule it in the you know their endless campaign. Well, you ridicule. know, think about those Ouija boards. I remember that the thing that kind of vitiated it for me, which made it that means uh, it made it a little less believable. I know what that meant. <laughs> well, weren't they made by you. Parker Brothers? Yeah, I mean that's the whole. Well, wait a second. Wait a second. Like, and why are they at Toys R Us? Yeah, I, right. Section. That that kind of. Makes I'm gonna it, tell you something right now. You know, I bet if Chris looks up the Parker Brothers logo, yeah, I bet it's fucking satanic. <laughs> Look it up, Chris, okay. right now. Pull that up, babe. Yes, They're you, selling them again I'll at Target, by the way. You can get one at Target now. A Ouija board? It's yeah, back still Target. made by Parker Brothers. I don't know. I don't uh, know. See, that's the point. You, know, you would but think you gotta, they're made by some sort of... No, you should get on a website and go Alistair to one, like, Crowley a witch. Something. Yeah, go to like a yeah, witch. Well, you know right. what I mean? Go, go to, to a voodoo go shop. Go to Salem. You know? Right. That's, <laughs> you know, you go down to New Orleans and you have to go behind the, you know... That's where you got to get a good one. Where Baron Somedy works. They're like five bucks. All right. Hang on. Hang on, boys. We got the Parker Brothers pulled up here. Where's the Satanism? I see, uh, I see. I see. Well, that looks like a. I see uh, hippie. Well, what is that? That's called. A, what is that called? That that little. Oh my god. That's that hypnotic. Oh, holy uh, shit! He's got something. Nick, tell us what you see. What is that? Bum, bum. Those are fucking sixes. Where? They're Every sixes. Time there's something sixes. Okay, look at this. VH1 award show six 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 stage. Where's that? Oh, no, no, oh, no, we're no, not he's looking to punch this up. Oh, okay. VH1 Awards 666 like, yeah, stage. Yeah, boy, this guy sees things. Google like, image yeah. this. Normal humans, like a, <laughs> like a dog hearing something, uh, a whistle. Image it, like, you know. Okay, right, we weren't actually seeing that. Uh, okay, go down a little bit. Yeah, because I was saying. That's like that hypnotic swirl, isn't that what that's yes. called? Yes, well, no, 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 no. Yeah. And it looks that, like well, that, that yeah, Parker Brothers. Yeah, those are sixes. Yeah, those are cool. Damn. That'll put you under, boy. Make you if you scroll. Oh, well, man, and quack it, like are a you sure it's not MTV? I didn't think VH1 Okay, go ahead. Hit that. MTV then. Yeah, it, MTV. In any case, they they sell it at toy stores. And right, I, and I, that's I, what I, I'm saying. You. You know, right, it should be more. Of there, a there's your Parker place. brother. There's your Satan. There's your six. That'll be in Spencer Gifts. See or that? Remember? Where, what the hell is they that? Are oh, right, sixes. I see that. I see that. Yeah. That's your Parker brother's son. Hmm. Well, th- there is a resemblance there. They're both swirls. Now, what exactly? Why is six the devil's number? Is that explained in the Bible? I don't know. I know that. I mean, I remember the omen. He cut his hair and he saw the it's six, a, six, six. It just says the mar- three squares. Yeah, it's, well, it's in Revelation, yeah, right? That's the mark of the beast. why it's that number. Okay. I, I mean, thought yeah, maybe you weird. did some research into that. Yeah. I could be wrong, but the way I've always s- sort of have looked at this and analyzed it is there are only like nine other numbers. <laughs> yes, that's okay, true. Okay, but check so, this out. That I'll grant yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. But <laughs> now, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. we were talking about we were talking about three twenty two always popping up, nine one one always popping up. Okay, but there. Okay, there's only nine digits. Actually, like, there's ten because there's a zero, sure. zero through nine. I said nine other. Now yeah. there's one thousand three digit numbers. That's correct. Yeah, no, that zero, is, zero, yes, zero that is to nine nine nine. But yet these three always keep popping up. So I'm going to do an experiment now. I'm going to see, since I've seen 911 pop up in so many movies, I'm going to see if I can find my birthday, 724. I'm going to see if that will pop up. Sorry. 
if in, in some movies. You know what I mean? Just pick an mm. obscure date and see if you can find that one. You know, on the back of the dollar, it shows that shit like burning and that. Yeah, and so all you kind of... see what you look for, or you're just, you can make that look at it. I said, okay, well, make that dollar bill. Find a design of a dog pissing on a fire hydrant. Make make the dollar look like that. Well, he's got something you there. but I mean? I, Well, they were all Freemasons. I think those are all symbolic of, right? Oh, Isn't that the... hey, I want to ask you this, man. You're Armenian. My right. niece is Armenian, by the way. She's, really? And she's an adorable... Uh, really How old is bright. she? She's twenty. She'll be twenty. Really this year, great. Yeah. Well, it, do, is great, she from uh, the Illinois side or? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. My sister Denise. My, Denise's daughter. So anyway, what do you think of the Kardashians? I think they're great. I really, really? do. I, I really okay. do. I, I think what they've done, and they're now they're adopting uh, two Armenian kids, uh, really? uh, orphans mm. uh, from Armenia. Which uh, you know what? I, I definitely think that they've been a big plug. For the Armenians, uh, for the genocide and so forth, because they even had their kid baptized in uh, in Israel, and Israel was like, "Who the hell are these Armenians? What, what are Armenians and sh- shit like that?" And uh, Kardashians put Armenians on on the map again. And, uh-huh. You know, I well, don't care what what happened in the past and all that. And God bless her because she found her roots, her and her family. I, I just don't... No, I'm not judging. Yeah. Judge, no, no, I, don't I, care I, I know, I know you that. don't, but yeah. the, I'm just saying that to the people out there listening. I uh, I don't have any opinion on them. I don't watch the show, for one thing, but I don't think no, they're... I, don't I see them on magazine You're missing covers. Out. Well, they're not particularly attractive to me. I don't know. I just never I, thought. I don't think they're are they that good looking. No. Are you fucking uh, kidding? You're, you're gals that you you've been picking up. I yeah, mean, but I'm talking they about a, make a janitor. Yeah, but the, I'm talking about <laughs> you know masturbation kind of fantasizing kind of girl. They're not that good looking. You know what I mean? They shouldn't be on. They're not. I know they've done a lot for the people. Well, and they've the, gone back and. The, have you ever tried? Are uh, you comparing them like Pamela Anderson? I know you're a Pamela Anderson fan. Yes, but okay, uh, now what about, that's a different league. What about uh, the Jeffersons? The the wife there on Jefferson. You're the one that has some kind of, you have I, some I, sort of perverse I, I, fetish I, for Isabel I, Sanford. I I did at one time. That God. was my. Uh, oh, that's great. I'd rather sleep with George Jefferson than her. Oh, you're gross, George Jefferson. Are <laughs> oh, you kidding me? That that was early in my life. Woman, uh, Isabel Sanford. The reason why I asked is because uh, what the hell did you ask? By the yeah, way, yeah. What, what brought uh, that? How up? About the Kardashians, because well, they're all you know throwing up. They're always throwing up the devil horns. For one, and uh, another that I just found out that Courtney named her one child Mason, and named the other her new child Rain, but it's not R A I N, it's R E I G N. Uh-huh. Mason Rain. Oh, okay. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh my God, that's eerie. Start it the presses, is. boys. Yeah, keep up with them, by the way. <laughs> do what they do. <laughs> Throw that shit up. Is that show change. still on? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it? Okay. Speaking of shows, uh, my wife had this goofy-ass show about all these little people. Uh, what are they, what's the politically correct word? Uh, little people. Dwarfs, I believe. Dwarfs? I don't, I don't, are they called dwarfs? You're not supposed to call them a dwarf. God damn it, you made me little call them a people. dwarf. Well, little people. None well, of us mean anything uh, bad by right. ourselves. Right, right. right. Uh, the, these little people were like... Uh, Midget is definitely out. Two and a half feet right. big, and they were adopting... Uh, uh, little, uh, other little, little, little people, littler people, littler uh, from than that? India and so forth, and it is little and, people. That's and true. I tell you what, man. Uh, hey, listen, I know they scared the shit out of me. <laughs> little people, <laughs> little people like that scared the shit out Who of me. Who's the one? Uh, Tom Thumb. Remember General Tom yeah. Thumb? Uh, P. T. Barnum's uh, Charles Stratton. Well, I don't know who the hell that is either, but that I'm was, just telling you right now. The, yeah, the, the, he was, he was this, a P.T. The, Barnum Circus. They, they're kind of like they got the big heads going, mm-hmm. and they got that nice posture, straight posture, and they walk like little Martians. You ever seen that uh, pro, uh, porn movie with Seika and the uh, little person? Oh, oh, Nick did. Look, Nick just went Nick, nuts did you see on that one? Nick's got information on this no, porn. No, 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 on Seika? Is she a Satanist? Too? The, the, if, who? Seika. The porn star. It's Seika. Oh, Seika. Seika. I don't know. Oh, I don't think it's Sika. That, it's Sika. In, in the, the north it's side, that, it's that. Sika. But you made me check think of. Uh, but you made me think of Keisha, that pop star, who's who was very Kesha. satanic. Who is not Kesha? I'm sorry. <laughs> And uh, and yo, and she that. is he totally just popped out of clear blue. She is totally Kesha. like uh, like Kesha. wrestling with it now. Who? See, that's what happens. Kesha. Kesha. What do you uh, think about Rosemary's Baby? Hold on. Oh, I'd love to talk about that. Yeah, but yeah just let, 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 let him get this Kesha. Out. Kesha. I'm really into this Kesha. Well, uh, <laughs> Who is she's, she? She's wrestling with with selling her soul to the devil, basically. Mm. And uh, 
Now she doesn't spell her name with a dollar sign for the S. Is that who that is? I couldn't tell you. Oh, really, okay, I've heard that song. Okay. Anyway, uh, she's horrible. she's kind of wrestling with like what mm, she's right, right. She's had grappling to do with her at, right. Her and soul. watch, you're gonna see some shit. You're gonna see her get arrested, and some shit's gonna happen because that's what happens. That's what happened with Michael Jackson. They make these deals well, and everything, and they you... do this shit and agree to do this shit, and then they do it, and then they start to wrestle with what they've done, and they want to unsell their soul. Ah, is that and what happens? Because I thought once you, once you sell your soul to the devil, you're all set. They want to be getting arrested, other de- getting all this trouble, Unless and dying. Unless you have a union shop store. He can talk <laughs> the devil out you br- of it. So your, the breach of contract is... Well, you have to have a union shop store. But no, the, no right to work, devil uh, states. Man, when, <laughs> when you were when you said little people running around like that into our aliens, I had to bring this up. Uh, I <laughs> this is a new development, but it's not new. Like it's only new to me. The uh, Atacama humanoid. <laughs> this little this, thing what? has found no, it's the size in the it's desert. Probably, Atacama desert. Look at this thing. Now, that that thing is, is the size bitch. of a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> This is a pair Rape of it. sunglasses? This is a, yeah, the size of a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> it's, a pair of sun- no, a it's not literally a pair of sunglasses. Oh, my God. That's, That's a new trend. To give it scale. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I knew there wasn't a Martian on your face. Uh, but nothing surprises wow. me anymore. I want a pair of those. Look at the x-ray, man. Oh, I got an x-ray. You're a doctor. Wow. <coughs> How many ribs that son of a bitch doctor. have? But that was found in the Atacama Desert. And wow. the, <laughs> Do you know where the weird. Atacama Desert is? Can you is? pull that up on this? I mean, where can he A-T-A-C-A-M-A. find that? A-T-A-C-A-M-A. Yeah, it's, in, it's in Chile. Humanoid. Atacama humanoid. And it's like it's had rain once in the last 400 years. Uh, it you, never rains you there. You know what? I, I could have fucking eaten this at a Chinese buffet. That looks like that brisket you had the other day. Oh, <laughs> stop it. They no. didn't give me that much. The Indian restaurant. Oh, that Indian that we restaurant! Ate at. Don't even bring. Oh. That's the bone. Oh, That's no. the bone. That's the bone. I'm telling you. <laughs> you oh, there it is in the guy's hand. Look at <coughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, <coughs> my my God. Look at that. Is that now, real? When when was this found? This was found. I don't know when is it was real? found. Yes, it, it really is. is. Real. It's look, you see the X-ray. Now you've heard of Piltdown, man. Um, Remember Piltdown, Lots of man? tests have been done on uh-huh. this stuff. There's supposedly two others found. One was found in Russia, I think, and one, I don't remember the other one. You see, I told you about little people. I'm telling you, look at that. <laughs> that's little, little people. Yeah, that's not like, the size of sunglasses. You know what I mean? This thing, you know. Imagine right. little things like that with spears running around. Yeah, you know? look at the head on six that inches son of a long. bitch. Look at that. How big is it? Six inches long. Six inches long. Wow. So it's my size of my Pepe. That's oh, come weird, on. Man. It's twice the size of your dick. Oh, you shut up. Well, I wasn't even talking sh- about my dick. I was talking about... That's the right. sun- size of a sunglass. Your dick is the size you know of a contact weird? lens. Is that on here? It you says... son of a bitch. Ooh, says, that was obvious. Yeah, Wait, Chris, go ahead. It says they scanned scan the, 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 uh, like the remains, the DNA, and found that it's from the last, like, 30 years. Last 30 years? Yeah. Wow. Last thirty years. Last few decades. Hey, you know. Why? You know what? How do they live in the Atacama Desert? Well, it doesn't rain there. Is very There's no rain. This is why our GM. This is why our GM is yeah. hiding in a bunker. Yeah. Whenever she goes down. I don't blame down, him after seeing this. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be at the fr- matter of fact. I'm gonna take his basement over <laughs> and kick him out with <laughs> all his the swords. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't get around all those swords he's got. I know. Well, you've heard of the Piltdown Man, right, Nick? Piltdown no, Man. No. Uh, in the 30s, they supposedly found the missing link in England or whatever, and they found out it was a big, it was a big scam. They just took a chimp's uh, jawbone or something, and supposedly. Oh, but this looks like, I mean, this yeah. is kind of hard to fake. Yeah, I know. That was a big Seems phony, real. a big fraud. Why, you know, let me ask you, Nick, why doesn't shit like that get more revealed to the public? I mean, this is stuff that is because front page stuff, man. I know. Nah, not I know. while Hillary's running. Yeah, right. I mean, and yeah, you hear. Yeah. Because the I, people that own the the news networks have an agenda. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, no kidding. You know, we got one hey, that uh, supports the uh, uh, Democrats. The other one supports. Oh, by the, I'm sorry. Well, yeah. I was just going to say, did you see uh, Dennis Hastert? Uh, yes, I did. See isn't that. that weird? He's an Illinois guy. Yeah, yeah he's an Illinois guy, and it, this is what I got. Now he's I'm going to make a little prediction. And he's actually like a nice, you know, like a good guy. Supposedly, he's yeah. a very nice guy. He's a wrestling coach. Yeah. The, the, did you hear this? No, go ahead. The he's Republicans paid out? and the, like you know both sides of the aisle like. Everybody loved the guy. Right, I know. In, front, in fact, a buddy of mine, I think, treated him. Uh, he's a podiatrist okay. in that area and treated him, says so he's a really nice guy. Right. But, what the hell Well, happened? he's been, he's been uh, uh, blackmailed, and he gave out, I don't know how many, a million and a half a or lot something of money, yeah. to some guy, and they got him because his bank statements, he had like 75000 50000 It was obvious somebody's blackmailing. Now, my, my theory on this, 
He was a wrestling coach. I think he was playing around one of the one of the students well, you know, because it's a guy uh, in his hometown. Something is going on though because the the uh, the uh, the U.S. Attorney, attorney General had, like indicted him. Yeah, he, he was. Which, he I don't was know what that's all about. Over the over, he lied about the the withdrawals that he Correct. made to pay the blackmailer off. He right. lied about the purpose of them. So they, you yeah, know, he said he couldn't trust him the for bank lying on him. Yeah, I couldn't trust yeah. the bank or something. But it was obvious he's yeah, being so blackmailed. He's going to go to jail, or you know, there's a likelihood he will end up in 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 jail. You know what? So they're going to find out what he's. Be, everybody wants to know what he's yeah, paying well, off on. That's yeah, the question. That's the story. I think he's. Yeah. I think he's fondling a wrestler. That's well, my. Uh, that's well, my, moving up the little extreme on that is uh, what about FIFA right now? FIFA, yeah, there's a lot going on. There, there. Yeah. There's money laundering. Yeah, there's yeah. so much shit going what on there. What a surprise! There. These European guys are taking kickbacks. And this Come is the. On. This Go is what I put. Slimy the, bastards. I know, but this is what I put down here. Mm-hmm. You got. Now, I I don't mean to draw you into this. Oh, <laughs> right. you will. Well, I will, but... Uh, so draw. You've got fucking Cheney, who got away with billions of dollars with a fake fucking war that he profited all this money, and all these fucking millions of people that died, and now ISIS has taken over that whole fucking area, and it's uh, disease has spread with this uh, type of people out there. And it was this guy here, and no one's ever thought about indicting... The White House from that era, like well, the uh, Cheneys and, and uh, the what, George what think, W. Bush. What, f- what do you think every war we've ever fought is over? What do you think? Why do you think we went to war in World War One? Uh, hold on, can I? Come on, but, can but I that, say one thing? Yeah, only go, go ahead, Nick. But not to, you know. Last time I was here, you guys fought more like than anything. But <laughs> that's and, what we do. Anyway, I hate him. Say that. I hate him, okay, Nick. And, on, um, and he brought up my Pepe too. Just I think you guys <laughs> disagreed more than anything I said. But um, on nine ten, the day before nine eleven, Rumsfeld said there was two point three trillion dollars unaccounted for. The next day, nine eleven. What was what hit the Pentagon? Uh, something exploded in the Pentagon, and it was the accounting offices. For the Department of Defense, and on that note, and Nick, all those who records, the hell, who the hell even thought about those uh, two trillion dollars missing? Then I'm saying because uh, all those analysts were dead. Uh, not only that, but who the, f- the files? Were. They kept making you think about Bin right. Laden, the, the oh, boogeyman, yeah. the Forget boogeyman, about the two, boogeyman. Three, yeah. And he brought up a good point a couple weeks ago. Now don't be jumping, don't be looking at me like that, prick. I got to bring up. Something. I don't have a problem with what you're saying. It's just it's it's far from unique in our history. I know Rosa, that, but what, you, they you've, knew about had, Pearl Harbor. you've had it's wars. Proven. You've had wars back then, man. You've had okay. the Germans. The, right. The, the, you don't the think Ke- we knew about Pearl Harbor? We had the code broken. The 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 Admiral Kimmel, who was the leader. Uh, now, Nick, have you read much about Pearl Harbor? Mm-hmm. Kimmel, this guy knew that the fleet was coming. They had the, and he wanted to move his battleships, which are old, you know, old tubs anyway. But he wanted to go intercept the Japanese fleet. They knew it was on the way. Roosevelt wouldn't let him. I think you guys agree, or we're all agreeing. Why? He wanted to start a war. You're kidding. Yeah, he, and his son profited I, greatly al- from this war. It's always been on Elliot. the theory that, uh, as stupid people like me, that it was a surprise attack. Yeah, right, real surprise. I've got several books you can read if uh, you want to. What's He's one of them you could tell our people out there? <laughs> it's the one by, uh, the, guy, the author's name I think is Stinnett, S-T-I-N-N-E-T-T, on Pearl Harbor. And Nick, he's probably got three sixes by his name, too, that's Stinnett. Uh, if you well, want to buy that, this had nothing to do with the devil. This is a war for man. fighting for uh, for personal gain. If for you money. Roosevelt, if you want to buy any with that book or any others, remember to go to our website, <laughs> dot com. There, the banner on the site for Amazon. Click through and uh, support the uh, Ocho. Is man that our imaginary sponsor here. No, today? Real. Oh, okay. I thought we had, wasn't it's that a deal. Real. We're supposed to have an imaginary sponsor. Well, well we have imaginary sponsors okay. also. Today is Jaguar, but this is our Amazon British deal. Leland. So, so just to explain to the listeners, everyone, mm-hmm. the way it works: if you anything you ever want to buy on Amazon, just remember go to Ocho Man's website first. It's one extra step. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to enter anything in. Hit the Amazon banner. Oh, that's all you got to do. Does that do something for that's us? It, yeah. How do how do I profit by this? That's how it you does it. Fucking shout your big mouth. Well, That's Trump spells do. making uh, trillions. I can make a few hey, bucks wait, on a all transaction. All you have to know is Not getting the Ocho Man show, we get credit for the transaction. Oh, is that well, okay. I, I already told I'll you about, about the other show. We you, are an Amazon well. affiliate. Yeah, listen, let's have a little lottery. What's that? Well, 
women, women should be you know calling into the other show and uh I'm I'm setting things up as we speak. You know, I, I got did this Armenian show, and uh, I was quite a hit with the ladies. He was quite a oh, hit shit. with everybody. Yeah, actually, he was. He was very popular. <laughs> right on. <laughs> anyway, man, the caliber uh, of audience. Uh, okay, uh, forget that. Just right. drop that, will you? That's another. Anyway, show. I think. Uh, what do you think? Hey, do you have G. any idea? What do you want to take a shot at? What Haster did? That what? What could he possibly have done that was making? I mean, he was giving away hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, so it's got to be pretty bad. I'm I'm moving to a bigger picture here. I'm saying that how can we fry FIFA? Oh, FIFA, that's right. And we're not looking at two fucking war criminals. Wait a minute. First of mind. all, what 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 is the Congress doing? You know, our Attorney General. She's got nothing better to do than go after some schmuck in Europe from FIFA. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell's that, that all too? about. I, they got you nothing know better to do. At you're the telling Justice me. Department? You're telling me they've uh, they, they've fixed stuff and so forth. Right. FIFA. Who cares? What about the NFL? That was a big catch from Des Bryant. They didn't include that. <laughs> That's still now, bullshit. Right. That guy should and be now, in jail. That guy should be in jail. I tell you. Are we too loud here? Because I think I'm blowing some <laughs> of you guys. Whenever you talk as, about Dallas, it's too loud. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think Boy, so. Your volume just. St- who was the guy? What was it? Was it T.O.? Remember we brought up uh, that Brandy Chastain, and he went he went absolutely ape shit. Oh yeah, you, you know what? Uh, is it Owens, well, right? He, yeah, you go, <laughs> screaming yeah, into the yeah. microphone Owens, and blowing it, out Owens our tympanic membranes. Oh man, no. So does so does uh, so does Hubert. What's his? Oh, Tony. What's his? <laughs> <laughs> but does he have a particular bet noir? I I Black love beast that uh, drives him crazy. Oh, you know what, man? Every time that. Uh, you go by these guys. They, they got they got a hot chick on on the Ooh. laptop there. Oh. They're checking it out, bro. I'll tell you the guy that gets under my skin is that clown on Facebook. I tell him I'm looking for him. Oh, is this oh, the guy you got in the argument please, with? Will you stop that? Let yeah. the guy go. He's a good guy. I don't this know. This is the guy Armand was going to beat up. <laughs> yeah. gonna fi- hey, if you're out there, <laughs> That's next right. Friday, you show up here yeah. at our studio. No, no, Granite City in the I, park I, I, at I, the park I, bench me, by the swimming pool. Let me say that. I, I'm fucking by the park. I'm, I'm not by the park. I'm and, uh, by my pool. No knives, Clean- just sticks. I'm I'm cleaning up my pool, uh, and this guy calls. Hey, who's this fucking guy? <laughs> and I go, what are you talking about? Did you hear he goes, this story? He goes, I want this fucking guy at the Wilson Park or Mc- <laughs> behind McDonald. I mean, it's like 1980s. We're going to settle this like, Granite yeah. City style. Well, you did talk uh, about something like that. I remember you talking about Nick, it was silly. This guy. Silly. Silly guy. The guy called me a fucktard. I, I object to yeah, that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That is derogatory. I don't even know what you a call fuck me or, is. I don't either, but it, it just doesn't It doesn't seem to be very complimentary. It's very unseemly. Yes, and it's not politically correct. No, uh, man. St- speaking of pol- in politically fuck correct, midget. yeah. Well, you got anything out there, Nick, on uh, the politics side that's... Uh, on who's being politically correct on... Saying fucktard? Yeah, on the, on the fucktard side. Because uh, I, I, I tell you what, man, he, he about killed that guy. <laughs> Verbally, I did. Uh, let's see. I, I, to... I had to pull the fucking post. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pull the post. I, I mean, I, I thought we were going to have uh, agents come in from the FBI and say, uh, you're promoting a fight here. I was ready to rumble. So, Armand, you are making the Ocho Man censor himself. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm censoring myself. Right I am. No, you prick. <laughs> I, I, I never that goal. I want that global warming nonsense expunged. Oh, boy. Son of a bitch. Why don't you leave things alone? I, I mean, Yeah, why people, don't you? Just leave them alone. People like right. you, people like you that want to, like Monsanto and shit, that want to oh, contaminate boy. the entire... Are you one of those... Cra- and what are are, you, I'm telling the, you right now, i see Monsanto stuff on right. Vice. And, and here's another me. clown. That, that's another bullshit thing. That, so that's let's genetically discuss, modified organisms. Let's discuss you know, Monsanto the GMO. a little bit. Is that good? Who cares? No, it's absolutely... There's nothing wrong with it. I eat it all the time. Are you fucking insane? Are you kidding? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Will you let me talk one time? I watched this one, so you're not just going to get away with this Oh, you watched something. Yeah, I did watch it. And listen to this Channel 9? No, actually, Nova? it was HBO. It's called Vice. <laughs> HBO. It was called Vice. It's the best fucking news you'll ever find. Okay. Anyway, they found that there's weeds now growing mm-hmm. from these monitored fucking uh, corns that they're put uh, putting out. Modified. There. Modified. Whatever. Monitored. I didn't say monitored. monitored. I said, said modified. Moni- did he say monitored? I said modified. <laughs> rewind the tape. There's no. You don't have to rewind anything. I'm telling you what I said. So th- there's weeds and fucking insects now that are they can't they don't know what the fuck these things are. And you think that's from genetically of modified course, organisms? Oh, of course, shit. when we fuck with horse nature, shit. I was a genetics you're major. You're fucking with nature all so the time, what? man. So what? Fuck with it. It needs to okay. be fucked with. Oh, for okay. People that look God. like you, there should be modified. You know what? You, you, I gotta I gotta ask you then, Armand. Yes. Okay. 
So what do you think then? Okay, so there's this guy. He's an MD. I think his last name is uh, Perlmutter. Okay, he's mm-hmm. the, one of the most renowned geneticists and neurologists in the U.S. He's a mm-hmm. Wash U. Okay. Yeah. He wrote this, uh, God, what's the name of the book? Brain Brain, about the, the impact that, 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 well, first of all, gluten and grain, and then also, like, the, you know, like the, the Monsanto, all yeah. the, the GMO stuff has on your brain, and, like, his, like, study on the actual, like, the, the like, neurological implications, okay. of it, which, which, you know, which he claims are huge. I mean, uh, I, I haven't read the paper. I, I know, yeah, I know I, you I have to read, read the, the book, paper, but yeah. if you show it to me, I will I read will. it. Okay. I will. Let me, let let me just answer and, this. And I'm not saying I believe one way or the other. I just want your input okay. also being here's, a doctor. Here's my, a... here's my opinion on all this crap, okay? There's such a thing called hermesis, okay? Have you heard of this, Nick? No. Okay. The human body, and, and this is, you know, you, you've heard about people like uh, Mithridates. This was an, yep. an ancient emperor who Rome wanted to kill him by poison, but okay. every day he ingested a little poison with his food, and he yeah. could not be poisoned. They tried to, and uh, they could. That's Hermesis. I think all kings did. Okay, that. so by, by subjecting your body, the small, the small... Doses. Small dosages of these carcinogens, et cetera, um, low-level radiation, all these things, including GMO, I would say, makes you stronger. It does not make you weaker. But they're also... Uh, look they're, that up. But that's, they're also that's, that's, creating... The super fucking uh, uh, insect. Too, okay, because... fine. If they create it, they can certainly destroy it. Well, that's... how? Because but, we're, we're but... destroying stuff that are supposed. You know, you know who that killed... are coming on this fucking. You know who form. killed the more people than anybody in this world in, in the history in history? Rachel Carson. Okay, you heard of Rachel Carson? No. Rachel Carson wrote, you know, the book she wrote, uh, Silent Spring. No, I don't okay. know. In 1963 or 64, she wrote this ridiculous book, Silent Spring, about DDT. And, and she said, we can't use this. It's horrible. It's making the robin's eggs yeah. uh, thinner so their shells break, etc." You know how many hundreds of millions of people have died of malaria because this stupid idiot did this and they banned DDT, which wow. is entirely harmless? Really? Wow. That kind of crap. You have I, you re- look that up, uh, Nick. Wow. Well, and wow. I, Hundreds of millions of people in Africa have died because of this idiot bitch. And and I understand the argument about you know small amounts at a time, small, but but I think the other side, and I could be wrong, it seems to be that we're ingesting a lot of it all sure. the time. Sure. Yeah, of so, course. Of course. Well, here, here. Wow. We're, I got a scientific movie. Okay. I'm that, uh, what is it? Soil and Green? Star Trooper. Or Star- <laughs> remember that? Those Star fucking Trooper. insects? They they were probably full of GMOs. Oh, that's right, correct. And uh, they're big, and uh, we couldn't fucking kill them. Man. Well, here's my here's my what I would say is listen, if you don't want to eat GMOs, don't eat them. Sure, I, but to tell to to vilify Monsanto because they're they're, they're actually trying lobbying to, to take over the entire oh, world with no, their they're shit not. They're, seed. They're, they're they're less they're less they're more resistant to pesticides. They need less water. You can they, there's better yield. You're going to feed a lot more people. You're poisoning no, you're the not. fields. Richard, you're poisoning. Fuck the fields. Uh, you're dropping poison. Hey, Moses, is that the fields are poison, she. Is, is that what your is that what yeah, your yeah, show said? That's, that's why. That's why oh, I'm nonsense. going to completely go with organic shit. And stay away from your right, fucking. Well, feed game. it to Rumsfeld, well, I think and everybody can, uh, will be happy. Go wrong that way. No, you're you right. You know what I mean? If because you know, you know what. Since you when know are you so is. healthful? Well, since I seen that fucking show, <laughs> I'll tell you that right Look, now. We're sitting here I'm eating Krispy feeling... Kreme donuts, and you're worried about some weed in a field somewhere. As you seen, I did not touch one fucking donut. Ah, oh, you're just trying to kill us. I'm trying to, give trying us to the, make you guys the big GMO nuts. Like me. That's what G- they are, GMO nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Don- donuts are good for you, boy. Glazed GMO. Right, I think nuts. I'll have another one then. Didn't have another All one. All right. I think I have a chocolate glaze. I have another one. Hey. Bum, bum, bum. Eat, right, eat another one, it. you fat pig. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did any of you guys eat your heart out, just Shane? Popped into my head. Eat GMO. It's good for you. Because I just sit around and think about stuff. Take like it from this a doctor. Constantly. Yeah. Go ahead, Nick. Fire oh, away here. Bob Dylan. <laughs> he did say <laughs> that he sold his soul to the devil. Okay. There you go. It's a. Uh, it's on YouTube. Would you, you sell your? I mean, to be Bob or what? Not Bob Dylan, but whatever. To be. Yeah, no, no. That's a great I, well. I'm question. asking everybody here. Yeah, would you sell your soul if you could be like a uh, multi-million, Dylan, a rock star, or, or whatever or you Hugh want? Hugh Hefner. Be, yeah. I know. I wouldn't be what Hugh Hefner, but a rock star. Send I mean, us your answers at Ochoman. Yes, Ochoman. email. Oh, I, would that, love, I, would, I would love to know the answers. The hell us. with them. Let's go around the table. Yeah, here. yeah, right. Chris, what about you? I would not sell my soul. Wow, how noble! I would not sell my soul. And okay, what what about you, Nick? 
No, hell no. No, hell, hell, he said hell, hell no. no. Yeah, I don't know. That that seems like an oxymoron. You, you. I'd you sell would. my soul. I'd sell my soul. I'd sell my dick. I'd sell. Armand already has. Yes, yeah. I, uh, no, I haven't. Armand would be the right hand man. If there's for a the producer devil. out there that wants my soul, I got a script. I tell you, one who All wants to be a millionaire. Do, she. Yes, I would. Do. How do you think I want? And who wants to be a millionaire? That's what I mean. That's right. I made it. That's right. I made a soul. I made a deal with Beelzebub. And then you get everything you want because you sell your soul, and then and then you die five years later. He doesn't care about that. Well, hunters. no, I wouldn't want that. No, no, I gotta live. A, I gotta live a lo- nice long life too. Yeah, no, I'd have I to no negotiate five year contract. If I did it, man, I'd have yeah, to. I'd have to yeah. get a lawyer involved, negotiate the That's terms cor- of correct. this deal. Yeah, the, no, 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 no stipulations. Yeah. I want to live to be a hundred, and I want to be. I want to get laid, and I want seventy two virgins like the Arabs get. No, you. I mean, per year. You should after really I get uh, the, after I die. I want that too. A dissolve. Oh, you, he's not going to give you that for my soul. Why not? That, that, the that's, devil that, could do that's that. That's his domain. His your soul. All right, Gulf. they don't have to be virgins. Sluts. I'd make sure I have sluts. like a like a Gulfstream Six. Yeah, you know, right, like well. I'd negotiate all of right. this into the deal. You just said Free you wouldn't pilot. do anything. <laughs> now you're now you're <laughs> fucking jumping on his bandwagon. I'm saying if he I did, up. I would I would make sure. I, I'm not saying I would, but I'm saying if I did. I would make sure the details of that I got, in I, blood. I, I, I got a feeling that fuck would join you. Yeah, oh, he uh, would. Are you kidding? You yeah, would, he, too. No, you I would, wouldn't. too. Hey, let's, oh, shit. Hey, hey, I wouldn't go. I think hey, I let's discuss this later. <laughs> that, uh, that Super Bowl commercial uh, with Willem Dafoe, it was the year that the lights went out. I, yeah. We talked about that, how they were out for 13-22 uh, right. on the clock. and Ooh. It was out for 33 minutes, I think, which is an amazing thing. Uh and then there was a uh, commercial for a car, I think, a uh, Mercedes, and Willem Dafoe was the devil, and he's telling this kid, yeah. you could have everything you want if you sell your soul, you could have one of these cars. And uh, on the contract, he, he, there's a close-up of the contract, and it has uh, these satanic symbols on the document. How the fuck you see shit like that? Uh, you pause it. And wow. You pause it. See, now yeah. I, would think I, 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 I would never watch a football game. No, I, yeah, I wouldn't. The son bitch is pausing right. everything. And the only thing out. I ever watched was the lingerie bowl. Remember that? That oh, was cr- so You know what it is? That back. Were they Somebody, hot or oh, what? Oh, the lo- remember the lingerie bowl? That halftime. No. Oh. halftime. But here's, look, you're watching this game, and then something like Madonna comes on with this. You're watching a football game. And like nothing says football like an occult ritual. You know what I mean? <laughs> like there was a halftime show, and there's this like you know Madonna comes out, and like there's this Egyptian shit everywhere, and she's like, what was the that the fuck halftime? Is this the guy, halftime, come yeah. on, you know what I mean? Like it's such a different vibe. Well, I and tell then Katie you what, Perry, the same thing. It's you you kind of got me thinking about something, man, and I haven't stopped thinking about it for what? a while. Is uh, I he mentioned when uh, when we took down Bin Laden. Yeah, we never. Fought. Did you we, see, that's no important. One, no one ever seen Bin Laden, and the and everybody no like one's the, seen the, Bin Laden's the death. helicopter no, crashed. It had to be real Everybody's because dead. they found his porn. Why? They found his porn collection. Did you see that? The fuck's that got to do? Oh, with the that helicopter a also guy. crashed, and everybody's dead. That was on the mission. I mean, honestly, That's we ridiculous. never seen a body no. of Bin Laden, and they I don't buried care. him at sea. And do you know why? Yeah, to, yeah why? And, and why did they do that? To respect his? Come on, to respect his tra- his religious? Are religion? you kidding me? No way. I mean, no way. I mean, this is, it, is well, what, what's your implication that we didn't get him, or that he never existed, or what? Know. He he, he died man. a long time ago. Okay. He was the boogeyman. Look, He's the and while I'm, while I'm gonna come in here and say I never said that ISIS did not exist. Hey, Nick Never is really that, hot, by the way, on the speaker. Uh, can we tune uh, him down yeah. on just a touch? Oh, sorry. I thought you were. No, no, it's I not. No, you're good. No, no, you're I, good. Go I ahead. thought that you were stopping after the "he's hot" part. I was like, no, no, what? no. okay. Where go, is this going? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Nick. Uh, no, um, what I think is perfect. happening is that I think that ISIS is is actually being let. Is they're going to let ISIS in? ISIS is going to come in through the border. And, yeah, and uh, this Jade Turkey. Helm exercise that's that's in effect is this drill that's going to happen for two months. This military drill. In the I Walmart. think that there's going to be a false flag or something's going to happen to keep, yes, to to keep this thing mm-hmm. to make it more than a drill. I'm just yeah, and, and this. this is my point here. We we never seen Bin Laden, yeah. and we never seen bullet holes. We didn't see it like a Gaddafi. We didn't see it like a Saddam. But they needed this fucking boogeyman. 
throughout this time to finally get what they had to do over there and just keep, every time shit brought was brought up it's the boogeyman it's the boogeyman it's bin yes. laden it's bin laden we're trying to get bin laden and then our focus would then they would wave american flag in our face and and we go oh, like sheep we would buy into it and go okay i'm with you again yeah. but and any time we got to the specifics of anything it was always that's bin well, what laden what do you want to do about yeah. isis though so what do you want to do about ISIS? I say ISIS is now out of control. They've made. We're going to put troops on the ground. You're going to fight them. I would not going to do it from the air. Yeah, yeah, you, you have would. to. See, I wouldn't. Or, or, or I wouldn't. Or, I wouldn't. Or, or, wouldn't. Or, 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 I would let Iran take care of it without not uh, unconditional. Let Iran take care of business over there because they want to bring in uh, troops down there and take care of business and get rid of ISIS once and for all. But again, now you got the other. Uh, countries that won't allow that because they're Sunnis. Uh, you got the Saudis. You got yeah. All so those. why get involved? There's nothing you can do. Then then don't get involved at all. I, well, that's what you said. I, I think that. Why do you not... want to put ground troops? Our troops there. I'm saying there's got to be some ground troops there because a lot why? of Christian people are dying. And nothing what, you can do about it. I, and I, I agree that there should be ground troops. But why don't you think there is? Why do, why do you think they're making this? Why aren't well, they doing I, this? Well, I, I, I have my own thoughts. I believe that their their goal is once Syria falls, they oh, their whole goal is to surround Iran. Iran is the last Shia <laughs> country in, in that region. Syria was one, and then Iran was the other. And now Syria is going to fall. And by the way, ISIS has not one time just shot one bullet over the Israeli border. Just uh, just throw that at you right there. Uh-huh. That's a little weird. Since all the time they talk about, uh, ISIS talks about how uh, uh, Israel is this and Israel is that, but they never I mean, one time have fired one shot across the border to Israel. So the whole focus is on take out Syria, take out Assad, and then they focus in on Iran and circle Iran. Iran knows they're being circled right now. They they know that this is this is coming, so they have to do it on their own and try to back this ISIS. Either. I say leave them alone, let it happen, don't do anything. All right, All right. well, it's not our for, it's not our war. It's not. Well, our I battle. mean that's that's fine for you to say. Well, You're oh, that's not, fine. You don't I'm have saying. you don't have relatives. You don't have Armenians over there that are getting beheaded, and you don't have a priest over there that are getting fucked up too. So I, I it's so easy for you to sit here and write your fucking book. Or your story, and uh, say everything, and let it work out because it's not working out. These guys are spreading. Yeah, but why and go to, spread it? And yeah, they that happens even everywhere. Invade it. Okay, now we're talking about invading Spain. They're killing. They're Italy. killing Christians in Nigeria too. You're gonna go there too. You're gonna fight Boko Haram too. Think, it's happening no, all over the world. I'm not talking about tribe. Well, tribes well that's what shit. you're not, dude. Because you're from the Middle East, you want to go over there and <clears> kick ass. I, I want. I want to save what we have over there. We have history over there with. With all these uh, buildings of the Syrian buildings and so forth that that are all being destroyed, these are biblical <clears throat> stuff that are just going down. And uh, so you're gonna? Would you send your son over to, to uh, save? I don't have uh, a son. Well, if you if had I, a son, would well, you I'll send t- him over there to save I'll, I'll uh, Petra right, or something? I'll tell you Who right cares? now. I'll tell you right now. If if I, if Armenia was attacked right now, I think it's the duty of every Armenian to go over there and fuck the fucking fight at anyone that's gonna fuck with Armenia. So uh, yeah, I, I'd go. I even told my kids I'd go. Okay. It's oh, right not now. Armenia. What? Do you, okay, but they'll take that down too. There's a Christian country right nah. there called Armenia. They don't want so, Armenia. Uh, Why wouldn't so, they? So you guys don't. Uh, let's not. You, I mean. We don't want to spend the rest because you guys won't see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, I, I think, think we'll this, straighten but it let out. Me, let me just Give us kind five of take minutes. it somewhere. You'll want to meet him on the football yeah, field. Yeah, right. Meet me at the something. park bench. Part of the Granite, Granite City. City. Uh, right there. How about right by the pool. No, but let, I, I want yeah, to. Yeah, uh, right there. Right in the parking lot. In Texas, you know, we have, you know, the border is wide open, and supposedly there's some, you know, some of those guys down there. 80% of the people coming across are Muslims. Yeah. And check Are this you kidding out. Eighty percent now from that border. Yes, my buddy works this for is ICE. What I'm talking about in Texas is that, and now there's. Remember the motorcycle uh, thing, the motorcycle gang. Uh, oh, the fight! At, they, uh, right, the, the, the yeah, the, the titty well, nine, t- nine people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five different. Mm-hmm. That was, I think, uh, probably some bullshit. That. Uh, that was that was the another event that, uh, to make it seem like uh, okay they found a thousand guns, you know what I mean? Texas is very volatile right now. There's probably going to be a ga- uh, a fake motorcycle gang war over that incident, and 
I'm telling you, this military exercise that has a lot of Texans pissed off and Arizonans pissed off, uh, you know, they have slews of tanks and jets and carry all kinds of shit that they have over here, and they've ordered all kinds of, you know, ammunition and shit for so this what drill. So what's it for? for? Two, it's called the Jade Helm 15. It's a, a military drill, and they admit that it's going to be a drill uh, taking place for two months. Now, I'm every time there's a drill, there happens to be an incident. You know what I mean? I've talked about that before. Sandy Hook... Uh, Boston 9-11, and there, I mean, you can go on. Every time there's, a, in the, the Aurora thing, every time there's a drill, not every time, but every time there's been a big thing like this, a big mass shooting, a big bombing, something like this, it's because, and it's there has also been a drill going on in that town at that time. You know, they, but uh, hold up, though. I I want to know so, about this bullshit you I'm just saying, mentioned, though. Well, what I'm saying, hang on. What I'm saying is like this drill is going to turn into an occupation, mm. is what I'm saying. And, and, and this occupation use, is for what? This, uh, because I think that ISIS is going to pull some shit, uh, or there's going to be a fake gang war down there because of this motorcycle thing that happened, or something. And this drill is going to turn into an occupation. And they know that, and they're disguising it as a drill. Eighty percent of the. How that, did you come up with like this figure? I would like to know that. I've got like a friend that. that works for ICE, and he told me he works lives in for, L.A. Works for who? Immigration and. Uh, I thought it? he was going to say ISIS. Not ISIS. <laughs> he works ICE. for ISIS. Ain't he? I, immigration and Customs. Uh, what and, ICE? Uh, look it up, Chris. What yeah, the, it's was, immigration. Is- Customs enforcement. Enforcement, of course. Okay, Immigration so, and customs so, enforcement. He's in so L.A. 80% of the, the people they're Mexican catching, border. Yeah, they're Muslims. You're fucking kidding they're me. They're letting this happen so they can occupy our streets, so they can put in advanced well, police protection. A, Same at the school. Sh- the, well, that's why they want to federalize police the police. shootings. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about. This is all for that, man. I believe that. All of Of it. course. I, I never knew any shit like that, man. They're going to take us off the, the air. Helm, the Jade Helm logo. The Jade Helm logo is identical to is is in the same shape of the Walmart logo. Mm. It's weird. Hillary Clinton was on Walmart's board of directors. Oh fuck, I, I'm not a big fan of her. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. done. Yeah, I'm she said, uh, you know, yeah. fuck. Uh, she turned around and said, uh, you know, all that shit about the Armenian genocide and all that. So I'm not really the uh, raid on Bin Laden you were talking about. Yeah. Like supposedly there's a uh, famous photo now of uh, supposedly like uh, Hillary, Obama, some other guys, and they're sitting in there and they're supposedly they're watching the uh, news. They're watching the uh, yeah yeah the, the raid attack take place. Yeah yeah, real well, time. One of the military guys came out and said uh, that can't be real because the the raid wasn't you know the first part of it wasn't being or. They, it wasn't even videotaped or wasn't uh, yeah. recorded. Yeah, that's, so that's what freaks it's phony, me out. and you see you see Hillary with her concerned face. I'm telling you right now, fellas, uh, the, the Hillary Clinton. I, I I don't know what to make of her. I mean, one one moment uh, she she looks like she's for the people. Next thing, uh, I, I'm I'm just not buying any of it. She's either. worth 125 million dollars. What she's she's one of us. Well, just don't have her give one of her speeches. That's worth 600 G. Can you think we can get her on the show? I, I, it would probably cost me a million. Yeah, I think so. A million to do a half hour show. Forget it. Get a stripper. Yeah, yeah. That I'd pay money for. Uh, All right. Well, hell. Well, any, what about sports? What, are, what well, this is a sports yeah, show? I, we haven't I, talked I, about anything. I, I got sports coming up here. We got the. Uh, well, I don't. What was your opinion on this FIFA thing? Besides, you know, comparing it to Rumsfeld and all the and trillions of dollars. Well, in that, it's it's evil. Corruption. It's, it's okay, evil. Of course, money laundering. Is that and all a big that? surprise to anybody that these guys are all, you know? That they're all rotten and corrupt. Come on, but, yeah, they're Europeans but, yeah, again. That that's every every company has something that happens. There's Ocho, something. I'm just saying. Why why is our attorney general getting involved in this crap? No, I, I agree right, with you stupid? totally. I agree with you totally. It's There's ridiculous. so much shit happening right. in this country. She's got to worry about FIFA. Yeah, FIFA. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's great. It's it's all distraction, probably. Who knows. It could be. You can, and you're talking about the here, Atacama here, skeleton over here. here. Here's I mean, a here's the thing that, story there. Here's the thing that's really interesting is they haven't even found all the people yet. And you know what? Guess who owns uh, part of uh, the MLS and he's affiliated with FIFA and all that is uh, Kraft. 
The owner Ooh. of the Patriots. Oh, Art Kraft, is that his name? Oh, he's a big-time soccer guy. And watch it trickle down to this fucker. Watch to it. I bet they were deflating oh, the balls, oh, too. And, and I guarantee you, he's not He's not a real fucking citizen of the righteous, either. <laughs> Whatever uh, happened to Brady? Uh, what, they suspend him for four games? or five? Four games, and I hope they don't reduce it, because the fourth game is against the Dallas Cowboys. And mm. uh, we, we could sure use you him. Think that's, uh, oh, you think I th- that's just? I think he should have got eight. Eight fucking games. How's that sound? Eight yeah. games. Eight, eight games. Well, to me, if you're gonna if you're going to suspend people for steroids, etc., and have you know that kind of thing for like a season at a time, right? And didn't A Rod get suspended? Of course, that's baseball. But and didn't they you suspend know what? him a- for a year. A Rod's been playing so damn good. Well, yeah, he's year. had a year off. A year off. He's uh, he's healed and everything. They DH the guy. He doesn't have to play third mm-hmm. base or Smart. first base out there. And I'm telling you, they're prolonging his life to just, three, four more years. Well, I'm just saying that uh, he's in great shape. He looks wouldn't... like me. No, no, please. You shut. He can't your he trap, can't be you? that ripped? Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, you shut your mouth and you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened to your sound effect for yeah, that one? Yeah, got where's it. our where's our sound effect? I've got it. Hang on. Where's your sound effect now? Where's your, where's your sound effect now? <laughs> where's my donut? Hey, I, want, I want to look like you. I'm going to take some home, okay? You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. That's that's exactly the right <laughs> Who timing. Who is that? Where is that yeah. from? Oh, um, oh, it's like, I don't know if it's old school. It's one of those. Oh, okay. Any other weird news out there, fellas? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. go ahead. <laughs> oh, you go kidding. Ahead. Okay. A fountain uh, of weird news. I've been, I've been really wanting to talk about He's this. been champing at the bit on this one. Okay, this guy uh, from Australia named Peter Corey claims that he woke up in the early one morning and there were two female aliens in his bed that and he had sex get her with done them. lucky and he dog had sex with them mm-hmm. and were they huh here's a computer <laughs> here's a computer uh picture of uh, oh let's see them. him Ooh, wow shut the fuck up Damn. i would bang this alien too <laughs> <laughs> look at her eyes though look at that I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah she looks a little yeah, asian right, that's like all that. yeah well, he described I'm one of them as that. Can I can I read a little bit? It's like two minute, minutes, if if you don't. Yeah, mind. yeah. Go ahead. Two minutes. I'll look at All this right. picture. You. Wow. His name was Peter Corey. They referred to him as Corey. Here it says Corey said his encounter began at seven thirty in the morning, while in his bed. He recently been injured at work. Was taking pain medication. Oh there boy. You go. Oh. Hello. Oh yeah. Earlier that morning, <laughs> he had driven his wife to work, returned home, <laughs> went back to bed for a short while. Suddenly, he bolted wide awake and sat up. There were two humanoid females sitting on the bed, both entirely naked. These two women looked human in nearly every way. They had mm-hmm. well-proportioned adult bodies. Mm-hmm. One looked somewhat Asian with straight, What pain dark med shoulder. was that? Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't never do any Vicodin like that. The other mm, looked perhaps mean. Scandinavian with light-colored, maybe bluish eyes. I'll take the Scandinavian. You can hair. have the Chinese gal. Yeah, I'll take a little uh, Asian. Gal. I never seen a hairstyle like that. It was <laughs> curled something like Farrah Fawcett, but to an extreme. It just looked really exotic in a way. Uh, this it gets so much better. Okay. There were they weren't little though, were, were they? Uh, very no, high no, cheekbones. Size. Eyes were three times larger than normal. Mm. Uh, That's another place you could put it. In. Okay, <laughs> the blonde was sitting on a kneeling position in the bed. Seemed to be in charge. Well, Corey yeah. thought Blondes she was. are always like that. Communicating telepathically with the dark-haired woman wow. who was sitting Alien with her dominatrix. legs partly right. folded under her. There was something it's usually stiff. like that. There was some okay, something stiff, almost blank. Sorry, in the expressions of the woman, Corey mm-hmm. thought. Though stunned by the sudden appearance of the woman, Cor- Corey had only a few moments to consider how they could have possibly have arrived in his bedroom. Before the blonde reached out with both her hands, cupped the back of his head, drawing his face toward her chest. He resisted. She pulled harder. <laughs> He kept pulling back. She was pretty strong. She pulled me over, and my mouth was basically on her nipple, and I bit. Ah. Well, you got to bite that. Corey said he doesn't know why he bit the woman. Spokane nipples, probably. But he felt a small piece of her nipple come away in his teeth, and she did not cry out, but the expression on her face was like, this isn't the way. It was a look of shock or confusion, like we've done this wrong. Uh Involuntarily, Corey swallowed the small fragment oh, in his mouth, damn it. Fuck me. and it got caught in his throat. Uh, oh, and the, w- the two women simply disappeared. Well, no shit, they're gonna disappear. He tried <laughs> to clear his throat, but this is the best Bite part. Bite nipple and, off, yeah. Uh, then uh, fell, fall, falls asleep, wakes up, uh, realizing his penis felt very painful. Goes to the bathroom, pulls back the foreskin, and found two blonde strands of hair wrapped tightly around his penis. 
Ooh, he struggled that. to unravel the pieces of hair as the pain became an intense burning sensation. <laughs> he removed them well, with a you know sealed what? plastic bag and took them to a lab. Uh, I, if, <laughs> a lab. if I'm that blonde alien, I'm doing the same thing. You just bit off my nipple. Yeah. You probably cost a lot of people out there, a lot of guys that sit in their backyard uh, in that patio chair around 1230 at night waiting for a space. <laughs> Not me, though. No. And... <laughs> Of course, that would be weird. No, no, you're faithful to your wife. You would right. never I'm always contemplate an affair with an alien. If a fucking uh, alien ship comes down with a shitload of uh, these fucking... Uh, if they look like I, that, I, I think yeah, I'd, I'd and, bite her nipple And how off. would my wife know? She's sleeping. That's true. I'm, you're never going to get gonna caught. I'm going to be making out with the aliens, and they won't even know. And I don't know, though. If your wife found a blonde hair wrapped around your cock, I think oh, you'd be in big trouble. At least now I know what they would do, so I, I would be <laughs> ready for that. That's right. So we got every cover angle. I, I don't, don't like it. the belly, though. The belly she looks is, like yeah. a little trailer park yeah, belly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she needs to do a little ab work. Yeah, a little ab work. Yeah, I like case. her tits, though. Great. Hey, well, we got any emails or anything out there, Chris? Uh, Nobody cares anymore. No emails. Oh, fuck Damn you. I, yeah, we got people out I'm there. sure we have them. We just don't have them right now. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, General apathy and uh, negligence. I'm still waiting for T.O. to come back and bring them. Well, we don't have any word of the day. We don't have any. How about a, how about a, a message from our sponsor? A message from Jaguar. our sponsor? Jaguar. Jaguar XKE. Drive that shit. Oh, yeah, there you Jesus go. Christ, <laughs> he killed us with that one. Son of a bitch. Jaguar. Uh, and uh, don't forget a Tesla. That's exactly. right, Tesla. That uh, I got a ride Ocho in a Tesla man. the other day. Yeah, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet nice in the car. Tesla. Well, I want my titty picture. Well, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you got it back. Hey, oh, no, gig. Guys, no, you want? You guys keep it. You well, hang it up there with your Edward G. poster. Yeah, that, we we are definitely putting a Edward G. Uh, poster up here. Yeah. Yeah, hey, uh, there's no kidding about that, Shane. Get me on the sports here. Let me predict my shit here. Okay, let's have it. You're about to have it. And three, two. Get ready. Get set. It's time for the Ultra Man's Big Six of the Day. Bad of the bone. Bad. Hey, 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 hey. I got my picks. I got my picks in last picks I had last week. I've been on a roll. If you ever uh, checked out my picks on the MLB. Uh, did you I've see been, my stock pick? Uh, we'll get to yours All in right. a minute, but you you were right on that, oh, too. Oh, boy. Somebody got rich. Uh, our two big game sevens coming up here, my friends. Uh, uh, Tampa Bay against the New York Rangers. Tampa Bay at New York tonight. And I, I tell you... What's the, if this the is odds a, on that game? Uh, Tampa Bay's plus 145. The mm-hmm. over and under is five goals. So this is what I'm predicting here. Okay. okay? I've been on Tampa Bay's ship the whole time, all year. And I tell you what, this game seven here, Rangers goalie Lundqvist. The Rangers depend a lot on board game and short passes. and uh, They're, they're a kind of team that are going to be setting up a play. But you got the Tampa Bay team here that depends on fast. They they need to move this puck and they need to make long passes and so forth. Well, I just don't see Lundqvist stopping this tonight. And I say, screw the home ice advantage. It doesn't help on Game 7. Actually, if you really think about it, Game 7, you got your team focused. You're in the hotel. You're, you, they're not thinking about their families or anything. You're one-on-one with these guys. You're good checking out their bedroom every every three hours to see if they're sleeping or not. I like Tampa Bay in this spot, plus 145. And uh, that's the way I'm rolling. And I, I like the score being a 3-1 to one game, and I like Tampa Bay. And I still like the under on the... On the over and under on this one being five. So we're looking at the under on the five, and we're looking at Tampa Bay plus 145 to win it 3-1. to one. Our next game here, I hate to do this. I, I mean, I'm a St. Louis Blues fan, but Chicago versus Anaheim. Chicago is plus 115. Chicago always finds a way to win in overtime in game seven. I'm telling you right now, Chicago finds the seams, finds the holes, uh, they find the breaks all the time. Anytime there's an overtime, forget about it. It's on their mind that Anaheim, that, you know what, we can't beat these guys. Chicago wins this, plus 115, two road teams. Home teams on Game 7 are at 62% with a record of 97-59. and 59. Okay, that really 
That's not too much for me. 62% is nothing to buy into. I'm taking the two away teams here. I'm playing with the other 38% out there, and I'm looking at Tampa Bay and Chicago as my two winners. And tomorrow night, Chris, i got to tell you guys out there that uh, we have a boxer out there. His name is Vic Martirosian. He's going to be fighting in uh, North Hollywood. He's a friend of the show. He loves listening to our show here. And uh, what what what's uh, the arena that he's going to be fighting at? Florentine Gardens. Florentine Gardens. In Hollywood, California. In Hollywood, California. Know where it is. Too. Yeah, My office used to be by there. Yeah, yeah. it's wow. it's going to be a great event here and uh we're looking for uh Vic Marte Rosian to take care we're of business for Vic tomorrow. To kick some ass. Yeah, he's named Vicious by the way. Vicious Vic. Good. Vicious Vic. Good name. I named him the that. martyr. When that wouldn't be good. Martyr, martyr ocean. That wouldn't be good. No, no one wants to be fucking no, called no, martyr. Be martyr. There you go again. The murderer, Vic. The, the murderer, Vic martyr. The ocean. murderer. Well, uh, you know, you don't want that either. The You'll mortician be on a crime scene. What would what would yours be? Well, uh, uh, what, what my real name or the Ocho the o- Ocho. Ocho what, what would it be? Ocho Genghis Bocho. God, I, I don't like Khan. I don't like Khan because I think of uh, Mongolian food. <laughs> Maybe that's what gave you your diarrhea or your dys- dysentery or whatever you have. Goddamn uh, Mongolians! Me a, I'm telling you, leave right me a stool now. sample. I, I'll get back I, to you I, in a couple I, days. I was okay with the food. It was my kid. I don't know what he but that little pigeon brought in the house. You don't even when you said that. Pigeon. This Uh-oh. is so weird. Uh oh. Uh, you. you you didn't find me with three no, sixes, no, no. did you? When you said that, it said Mongolia, and then it says Sea Hangover. Hmm, interesting. Sea hangover. So this is the Encyclopedia of Useless Information, by the way. That's a good book, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to look that up, Hangover, if Very you don't useful. Mind. And by the way, uh, last week, you can check it, I said short Shake Shack. It, yep. went, it was down 14%. Oh, that's uh, right. You'd have wow, made a mint. Look at that. You would have made a ton of money. In I, Mongo- I, I did. In Mongolia, a traditional <laughs> hangover cure is to eat a pickled sheep's eye in a glass of tomato what juice. In the For fuck? a hangover? A simpler Puerto Rican alternative is to rub lemon under rub lemon under your arms. Well, th- I take that route, Martin. <laughs> I like the sheep's eye myself. Right? Yeah, you would. You would. And I think, you know I think what? you should bite an alien's nipple. Hold on here. You, you bet against <laughs> you bet against the house on that. Didn't Damn you? right I do. So oh, you mean oh, it's Shake Shack? Yeah, yeah so it's Shake Shack. You, you went on. It's a sh- bubble. It was a bubble. It was way too high. I told you that. It was way overvalued. You I knew it was going to go down. It so, went down fourteen percent in so, one week. So you're the prick at the crap table that uh, don't pass every you, time. Don't come. So don't you're pass. playing with the house. Then. Hey, I'm not getting laid. I don't want anybody to come. I don't want anybody to pass. He bought the calls. All right. Well, fuck, folks. No, I bought. Uh, our, I'm sorry. Puts. The puts. Bought, yeah, bought the puts. puts. Yeah, you don't want to hang out with this fucking depressing fuck here. Yeah, I get a lot of nasty looks at the crap table. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. Hey guys, anything going on this weekend for you guys? I got a date tonight. You got a date? Yeah. Uh, how big is she? Uh, I'll show you a picture. I met her on Plenty of Plenty Fish. Plenty of Fish. That's yeah, what right. I was going to yeah, say. This was not bad. Not bad. That's uh, that. Well, we need a... an update on it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Next right. week. I'll let you know. We're going to have a drink at Applebee's. All right. Because hey, nothing's next... too good for oh, my wow, girls. Wow, man. It was <laughs> like Applebee's, the right Ritz. There. When does happy hour end there, though? I think I'm going to get screwed on oh, that one. I think it's oh, 7.30. Oh, you cheap bastard. You, you're fucked. Oh, Damn it. same shit with I, you. I wanted to meet at 5.30 because I think it's happy hour, right? $2 beers? What's the mixed drinks? Oh, damn. I don't know. I hope she doesn't drink mixed drinks. Well, well you're saying. Yeah, of course she's going to drink mixed drinks. That's why you take her to Hustler Club on, she's on, she's <laughs> on Tuesdays. Believe me. Hustler Club is get her $2 free dance. mixed drinks. Believe me. She's, on, she's out on a date with a with doctor. She's drinking mixed drinks. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> call <laughs> drinks or well drinks? The, Those the perfect call drinks. drinks. Did you tell her that you're a screenwriter, too? I didn't tell her anything. She didn't know anything about me. She doesn't know anything about you. Well, that's why she went out. Well, it does say medical on there. Uh, Oh, you're buying fucking... I'm going to tell her I'm a nurse. Pina coladas. You had to buy her a house. (laughs) What about you, Nick? You got got anything going with your gal? Uh, Barbecue with my dad. Yeah, be sure it's good meat. Uh, Don't get the shit I got from wherever. I don't want to say where I got it. (laughs) I hope it's not one of our sponsors. Uh, Maybe. By Jaguar. (laughs) <laughs> what about you? What about very, you, Chris? Very relaced weekend. Not much going on. Just listening to old Ocho Man podcasts. Wow, that's, that's, that's my man. That's oh, my man. And me, we idyllic. got people over tonight. Again? We got people over tomorrow. Who's coming over tonight? Uh, tonight we got uh, family uh, friends uh, that are uh, Armenians. They're going to be swimming in the pool. Oh, I got the yeah. I got the heater turned up. It's oh, going to be like eighty nine degrees. Carbon footprint. There you go. Yeah. Destroying the planet. What are you talking about? Don't start your bullshit, you, you, you Cretaceous GMO monster. Anyway, my friends, it's been great having you on the show, all you guys, and uh, great listening to you, all you guys out there. Anybody and, want these donuts? 
Remember, no, you're have the remember yeah, iTunes yeah. store, Ocho iTunes Man show. Behind the Eight Ball. Leave a comment. You can find the show also streaming on the iTunes store or the website, OchoMan.com. You can email us at OchoMan at OchoMan.com. We're also available for Android on the Stitcher app. Remember to find us on all social media and leave us some comments, some messages, some replies, and listen to the show. Hey, Stop and I know... Television. I know you guys are out there listening to the show. I'm seeing the numbers, and I'm seeing every every week we're getting bigger and bigger. So your lazy asses can listen to our show for an hour. You guys can also go out there and just give us a little prop here, too, a little help what, here. What, what, what if they hey, want to send hey, in an on. insult or something to their calumny? I don't give a shit. Send it. Send it. Whatever. Oh, I don't want that. Anyway, Keep my friends, yourself. from the old show man and the crew, we are out of here. Man behind the eight ball only on Ignotainment. Leave us your questions and comments below this podcast in the comments section of the iTunes Podcast Store. Not just a-